Hey guys, Coos here. And today's review is the M4 one. Dun, dun, dun. When you open the box, oh yeah, I have a little little information here. This is my first review, and it's not going to be up to standards, but it's pretty good. Okay, so here we go. When you first open the box, which I've just done, you will get this. Uh, uh, what's it called? Instructions on how to put your gun together. You know, quite crap. Most of it's in Japanese, but the illustrations aren't very good either. Quite shabby. The, the main information is up here. But anyway, we don't need that, do we? So here we are. The M41, also known as the G36C, but it's called the M41. We'll just call it the M41 because. We're cool. Okay. Anyway, look. When you first open the box, this is what you'll see. You'll see some BBs. The G36C's body. Do you that? The, the, or the M41's body. A screwdriver. A light. The magazine. And the other parts for the gun, including the scope and the muzzle. Okay. Firstly, we're going to take out the uh, the body, the, the G36C's body. Quite hard to take out at first, but you'll get used to it. Okay, so here we are. It's made out of ABS plastic. Um, quite Got a good grip to it. We'll go into more detail on an, uh, another time, but now let's just hurry up and do this vid. The first thing you'll notice is there's two different muzzles. There's the uh, short orange one, which is very bad. I mean, it's quite hard to fit on, but it and it's, uh, it doesn't look very good. It's bright, bright orange, but I would much prefer this one, the the long barrel. Now, to fit it, it looks quite good when you fit it on, and it's got an an RIS an RIS attached to it, sorry. and um, it it does fit quite good. So do not do, this is not a muzzle cap. Don't put it on there, otherwise the BBs will just just get ruined okay so to put it on there's your barrel of the gun try and get it onto that part uh, the top part put the bottom part of the barrel onto the top part slide it in until you hear a click like that and um, it'll be on and there's your first step to your airsoft gun the second thing you'll probably need to do is take out this stock. Now, this is my favourite part of the gun, since it's heavy, it's really grippy, and it's got a good feel to it. It's similar to an ABS plastic sort of material, but it's a bit ha uh, harder and a bit more, not as not as cheap. It is um, quite good, it's like rubber, rubbery metal sort of stuff, and um, to fit it on your gun, just uh, hold the gun up. I would prefer holding the gun up because I've only got one hand to do this. Okay, watch, watch, watch. Slide it into the um, thing. You make sure it's actually on it. Give it a good firm push. Oh shit! Sorry, guys. Uh, can you still see there? There we go. Right. Look. Um. This will just be a minute. So once you've uh, got it nearly on, it'll build out up to there, and then you have to give it a good firm, and it'll be fully clicked on. Quite hard to take off by using that button. I don't know if you can see it there. Okay, so here we have it. Quite grippy. So the next thing you'll need to know, sorry, is um, we well, don't really need this here, so I'll put that back in. Unless you want to throw it in the bin, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. Here, here you have your very, very cheap BBs. You don't only have... You can use your own BBs like a TSD, Tactical, whatever, just biodegradable. Just as long as you don't use paintballs in this gun, believe me, it'll just break. I've, had, I've bought two of these guns, and I know. So, these BBs are really bad. Do not... I would not use these. They are really bad BBs, but... Anyway, uh, I'll show you the scope in a minute, but I'll just quickly show you the magazine. Now, 
when you're putting the BBs in, I have no BBs on me because I've used them all outside on the test. But look, as you can look, you see that little black thing there? You pull that down all, all the way to the bottom quite hard and then just give it a little push at end. Right, and you f knock your BBs through there. Once you've done, press that button there. It'll flick up. And you're ready to go. This is the scope. It's um, quite a decent scope. Made out of ABS plastic. Really, really cheap. But it's uh, quite good for beginners. I mean, like, you know, beginners, snipers and sharpshooters and things. It's, um... Don't look down that end because it won't work. You have to look down the the the, the blue end, the bluey green end. To turn the uh, the actual crosshair on, you just flick that to the right. You see that? Flick it to the right until you heard a click. And you look down your sights. Oh crap! Uh, let me just show you. This is what you can do to people. If I had some BBs in, I'd shoot his head off. Bye bye, Mister Soap McSavish. So the scope's quite good, but. I wouldn't use it if I were you because um, the sights are pretty good. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to be um, putting up a shooting test soon on a couple of targets I made yesterday. And uh, this is it. Oh, yeah. Just to let you know, here, uh, I don't even know if you can see it, but uh, if you, you, you obviously, uh, every gun needs a safety switch. I mean, some guns don't, but. This gun does have one there. Right. When it's there, that means it, it's a, the, the trigger is capable of... Oh, shit. The trigger is capable of being pulled back and can shoot BBs out. But when that... Oh, what the fuck is it? When that um, switch is... You, know, you can't see it because of the camera, but when it's turned off, basically, it cannot shoot, and you'll be safe for the for the get uh, for the day. Okay, guys. See, this was my first video. Remember, so it's not up to the highest of standards standards of airsofters. Oh, hit, hit, just a quick shout out to um, Defcore Airsoft. He is my legend. Honestly, go check out his vids. He is brilliant. Defcore Airsoft. He's got a website as well. Defcoreairsoft.com. Right. Also check out EV Airsoft and Shane Dawson TV. They're all brilliant guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you later.